for me, uh, with my, my, my first entrepreneurial venture, which was setting up MobiFit, it's a company that makes fitness apps. I think the, the idea behind that was women want to do something for their bodies and their health, but maybe they don't have the time to go to the gym because today going to the gym means going to the gym, being in the gym, coming back from the gym, so it's, it's a lot of time. Whereas the one device that we all never let go of today is our phone. So if there could be a fitness solution that you could find that could be in your phone as an app, it would be great. So we have a couple of apps, of course, uh, first run, our running app is India's highest downloaded health and fitness app. Uh, we have a couple other apps coming up which are focusing on strength, flexibility and other aspects of fitness. But the idea was to make your time productive, to be able to do what you do in your whole day in a, in a manner which doesn't take a big toll on your time. And um, I've never been someone who's been pressured to look a particular way. In fact, uh, I've been of a contrarian that maybe if I'd spent some more effort and time in, in dressing up, my life would have been very different. But I only started doing that a couple of years ago because I have tools now. So I came across this product which emancipated me. Uh, it, it liberated me from the from the whole chore, as Shu said. You know, sometimes your hair is dirty, you just tie a bun and go because you know if you wash it, then you have to get a blow dry. So I think Daphne has completely changed my life. It's something that I go with. It's in my bag. And I'm no longer salon dependent. I mean, I know it's not great news for salons. But the point I was trying to make was it, it really is about liberating myself and doing that Shingar aspect in even a shorter time with better results. I feel like I also come from a household where the man, sure, like back in the day and how we've been talking about you know, the man wearing the pants, but I feel like almost every person that I know will vouch that their mother always wore the pants in the house. So I don't know, <laughs> like my mom, I don't think my dad even wore underwear, to be honest. <laughs> she was that much in charge, you know what I mean? So to see that in the salon, it's quite sweet. I mean, you know, women saying, listen, I like my man, which is also great that men listen, like I like my man with long hair, don't make it short. Okay, great. <laughs> so I think it's, it's really good to see this trend and it's really good that every day at least like some five women come and just hack off their hair because I think in India, that is considered the most liberating thing ever because we're so obsessed with long hair and men love their women with long hair. I think it's almost a rebellion that's happening. That women just coming and saying, if this is what defines me as an Indian woman, then I don't want it and let it go. So it's, it's kind of nice to see that, that happening. I genuinely believe that women make the world go round. Absolutely, 100%. Uh, our lives are held together by the women in the house. The men probably, now even that's changing. The men just earn money, that's all they do. But the lives are held together, the kids are raised, the kids are educated, the kids are taught culture and tradition only by the women. And now the women have also taken the charge of bringing home the bacon. So the one thing that the men had has also been taken away. I think it should be a partnership partnership. And this partnership is not a partnership that business say that it's a sleeping partner. One partner means that they do a little bit. और वो भागीदारी बराबर की नहीं होती। तो मेरा ये मानना है कि it's not about being a man's world, it's not about being a woman's world. I feel it needs to be a partnership where both the man and the woman who are partners in life need to be able to contribute equally and more importantly step in to ease the other person's burden. So मान लीजिए मेरे हिस्से का काम है, bank का काम है और कुछ financial papers का काम है। किसी किसी कारण से अगर मैं नहीं कर पाती हूँ तो इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि वो काम सफर हो। My husband should have that that sort of partnership attitude that he steps in and says okay you know you're struggling right now because you're busy with something I'll help you. So I think it should be a partnership. It should not be about sort of trying to be on top or or one up. It should be my opinion. It should be a partnership. There is this village in Johar that I just set up a women's center. Okay. So there were 10 sewing machines we set up there for the women to start earning money when they were. And I heard something from a man there, which I don't think I have heard from any man in my entire life. It's the most intelligent thing I've ever heard any human say. Um, so the, we were inaugurating the center and um, the man whose wife was one of the women who was going to be sewing. 
So I said, how do you feel? You know, your woman is going to start working. And you know what he said? He said, listen, I get all of my power from my wife. So if she is empowered, imagine how much power extra I'm going to get. Imagine that. Yeah, it's the most intelligent. This is what, once again, I say, when people think that people in villages are not educated, but the most intelligent things I've ever heard in my life have been from villages, from men who are so liberal, it, it baffles me. So uh, I think that it's, it's you know, I, cu I couldn't have said it any better, like he said. It, it was just amazing. Yeah. Uh, a woman of the go today is someone who's doing everything. She's running a house, she probably works, and if she doesn't, then she's doing something at home. Um, running a house in itself is a, is a I think, is a, is a very, very big, tall order big and tall order and uh, she's somebody who, who wants to make the most of her time and at the same time she doesn't stop thinking about herself you know in, in, in that whole bigger picture so she does remember herself she's not somebody who puts herself on the lowest priority she's somebody who celebrates herself and uh, doesn't stop to obsess about herself either I think for a single woman, which is me, uh, I think it becomes even more difficult because there's nobody to share the load. <laughs> so you get five cats like I did, but they don't seem to share the load either. So I think it's the same. Uh, you wake up and you do everything. Uh, so whatever it has to be, uh, you have to do it in such a way that you don't really explode and take so much on. So it has to be, you can't be sitting and grooming yourself like all day long and you cannot be working so much also that you kill yourself. So balance, to me, is the key to everything. For me, a woman on the go is uh, basically someone who wears a lot of hats on top of really nicely uh, blow-dried hair. <laughs> Always. <laughs> and. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's effortless because it does take a huge toll and uh, it does get a little excessive but it feels great that you know you can impact so many lives at once and look like a million bucks while you do it. There is, uh, it, it's not that uh, unheard of, there is a lot of cultures in the world that actually have yeah. men who don the hat of a homemaker and the woman is the primary breadwinner. And uh, I think it, it's more prevalent in the West simply because uh, I think uh, from childhood the children there are taught to participate in, in household chores since they don't have house help like the yeah. third world does. So right from the very beginning the kids are raised on an equal footing where the boys and the girls have to help their mom or their dad do the dishes or it is to do laundry or pick out the garbage. So it's something that, that's not that alien a concept to them. They, they're used to seeing their dads and moms do exactly the same work. For us, it seems like something that is so novel because we all have the habit that we will take care of our mother at home. We will sit here at night, we will eat for 2 hours, and then we will eat food, we will clean the kitchen, and we will sleep. So for us to suddenly imagine that, wow, where are you going to go? And Papa is going to do all this work seems very, very novel. But it isn't, and uh, maybe the only way to set the record straight is to make sure that kids do work right from the, from the time that they're little kids, so that when they grow up, there is no such notion that a house is only run by a woman and work is only done by a man.